Today we're going to paint the treble tower from PrintableScenery.com. After priming gray, we'll use dark flesh tone as our base color. Now we're going to come in with camouflage black brown to kind of pre-shade this. So you're basically just going to try to airbrush this into natural shadow areas. browns look a little cool temperature wise so we're going to use leather brown here to kind of warm it up now this is thinned one part paint to about three parts water and we're not going for full coverage we're just trying to get that yellow orangey color to show up to get some variation in our woods Now we're going to use khaki for our color modulation step. So here we're going to highlight and try to exaggerate certain edges. So hitting the natural tops where the highlights are going to hit and then maybe not so natural where we're going to catch the edge of this log here just to bring the eye to it, you know. here where we know that the corners are going to be dark brown for this paint scheme or just a darker color we're gonna do this highlight right here in the middle of these platforms On the four corners of the towers, the wood still has bark on it, so we're going to use charred brown as a base color here. Now for all the ropes, we're going to use Zendry Dust as the base coat. For the skulls, we're going to start them off with Bone Shadow. And for the tusks, we're going to use Rekarth Flesh as the base color. Now we airbrush the highlight onto the skulls using aged bone.
Now we're going to shadow some dark areas using Environox Dark Brown Applied Dry. Now we're going to use heavy khaki and paint all the wood areas where the wood was sliced away or carved. There aren't many metal bits on this model, but for the ones that are there, we're going to use Army Painter Gun Metal. And for a final touch, we're going to use Arid Earth from Army Painter and a large dry brush. And this color will work on pretty much everything as long as you go light just to catch those edges. And to finish things off, we're going to apply a thinned coat of Army Painter Strong Tone Wash. And this is thinned probably five parts water to one part wash. And the idea is just to let it pool up, do its thing, once it's dry, see if you like it or not, and then apply another coat. You can always put more on, but you can't take more off. You could always come back and dry brush, but then it, the model itself just starts to get darker and darker. And that's it. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. This is a very limited color palette and that's on purpose because for a tribal tower you probably want to use vibrant colors to indicate what tribe this belongs to and whatnot and having this kind of color scheme makes those colors just pop whatever color you put on it. So till next time.